YouTube was good. It's your boy Jody Joe. Welcome to Jody's Corner. I have a TV show review from Netflix entitled The Umbrella Academy. Get up. We're going. Where? Save the world. Oh, is that all? Yes, The Umbrella Academy. This is on Netflix right now. It's like a, this is basically like a superhero show. Uh, and it's a team of young superheroes who are led by a Alfred type Pennyworth type of ma man who finds these children who are born on the same day with special abilities, numbers one through seven, raises them to be superheroes and calls them members of the Umbrella Academy. So basically, I'm going to go ahead and talk spoiler free about this show, and it's going to be brief. Um, this started off as a really good show. The production value really showed itself to me. This kills something like the Marvel Netflix, like Luke Cage and Daredevil from a production quality standpoint. There's legitimately a CGI monkey in this show, y'all. Like, they really put the budget down for this film. So, we got heroes number one through seven, right? Seven is played by Ellen Page. This character particularly doesn't really have a special set of powers and she's not really like the other kids. So she gets outcast as she's raised and she's shunned away and doesn't get to go on superhero missions and get the limelight and the shine and the glamour that one through six get. So basically this story, this season takes place with a, a, a number five who has traveled to the future somehow because he has teleportation powers. Number five is probably my favorite character. I really like number five's wittiness and charm. Overall, this little kid is a fantastic actor. He really blew me away. Number five is definitely my favorite. I love the way he acts. His acting abilities are like out of this world for his age. So number five is definitely my favorite. And he has his ability to teleport through time. And what he did was he saw the future and he, know, he saw that Armageddon is coming. And he traveled back to the present to save his friends and the world. So that's basically what the mission is for this entire season. And then where we see, we get introduced to the heroes as the episodes go. Number one is a muscle-bound muscle guy. And his name is Luther, right? So then we have uh, Vanya is the one played by Ellen Page. Uh, we have someone, Diego. Diego is another one of their brothers. He has He's like a knives specialist. He's like a, a Batman type of of guy you know what i'm saying and uh, uh luther would be like your hulk number one he will be your guy uh aiden gallagher number five number five um is the one that i was telling you about number four i believe is is no, i think he's number four he's klaus hargreaves klaus this guy can summon up the dead and communicate with them and even maybe have even more depth than that i liked his performance he's very he has the the deepest character if you ask me than all the other uh characters so i really dug his performance and i think that overall this cast and crew of actors did a pretty darn good job we have allison she is a like a, a movie star who has the ability to whisper in your ear and make you f bend to her will so she's pretty darn awesome all the characters are good in their own way right i have you have your favorites here and there but this the season started off pretty darn good and then and then in season episode one episode two were pretty nice then episode three, four, five, and in the middle of the of the season, start stuff got really slow, and it was building to something. You get that it's really building to something, but it didn't really start to get steam until around episode seven. Episode seven or eight was when it really kicked off and it became something different. And that's when I was on board with it, like, yeah, this is great, because I was kind of coming off of boredom, and I was like, oh, I was kind of depressed on this show. But then, towards the end, is what really blew the top off of the season, in my opinion. Something happens at the end of this show that completely flips everything on its head, goes completely balls deep, batshit crazy, and it's something that I just can't ride with. Uh, this, is a, this is a show that is on the level of the Marvel Netflix shows with a better production budget, but overall, this film left a lot to be desired because the end of this show was truly crazy. And for that, I'll give this movie a C minus, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. This TV show, it felt like a movie. This uh, this season of the Umbrella Academy, C minus. That's where I'm at with it, guys. That's my brief little review for the Umbrella Academy, guys. It's on Netflix. Check it out yourselves. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Let's talk about it down below. Thank you guys. I'm Jody Joe, and I'm out this thing, man.